Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to welcome you to the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, September 24th. The Weekend Roundup is my weekly show where I just take a look back at the week that is just completed and I take a look ahead to anything special we might have planned for the week that is to come. We also talk a little bit about deals and things that I might see around the Internet, give you some general thoughts as well, just anything that pops into my little old head. All right, let's talk about the videos that we did this past week. Well, I put up two Space Marine videos. The campaign continued over on TGN. A couple of Space Marine videos. It was a lot of fun. Still enjoying the game, still loving it a lot. And that adventure will continue over on TGN. Also on TGN, I posted a video for a game that at first glance seemed like a total disaster. Like a bucket full of vomit wrapped in a dirty baby's diaper. It was called Rusty Hearts. It was an anime-style MMO beat-em-up hack-and-slash game. Uh, it's a tough sell. It's free to play on Steam. It's in open beta. It has a long way to go, in my opinion, if this is their open beta offering. Uh, I hope that the release version doesn't resemble this too much. I'm going to try it with a gamepad. I'm going to give it a second chance, but the keyboard controls are horrendous. They are just hideous and horrible and every other negative sounding H word that I could possibly conceive of. So those were the offerings over on TGN, Space Marine, and Rusty Hearts. Here on the home channel, we put forth a new show, Try It. I did G-Shift to start with, but before I get into talking about G-Shift in particular, let me tell you a little bit about the show, Try It, and uh, where it came from, and what I hope that it will be. Well, Try It was inspired by the Space Marine demo. That demo did such a good job of convincing me to buy that game that I actually went out of my comfort zone and paid for a full price game, not something that I do very frequently at all all. So I thought, well, if that demo enticed me to buy that game, why don't I use that same principle for the $5 games that I uh, I play here on Big Dave is Cheap. So G-Shift was the first game that I decided to use that formula on. Some people may look at the formula and think maybe it's a little bit unfair. I mean, it is a fairly snap decision, but most of the time I make my decision on whether to buy these $5 games based on the blurb that's written on the web page and any reviews that I might find on the game, as well as maybe a video or some screenshots. So it's actually more depth of decision making than I normally have when it comes to buying these games. Usually I look at a game, it's like, okay, the game is two bucks. Uh, it's colorful. It looks cool. It looks interesting. It's from a developer that I know or whatever that's enough to make the purchase. With G-Shift, I went ahead and I put it to a deeper test. One thing I will say about the G-Shift demo. Demos do not need to start at the very beginning of your game. Space Marine, for instance, the impetus for this whole series, that demo did not start at the first level of the game. In fact, if the demo had started at the first level of the single-player campaign, I probably would have not been as inclined to buy it because they specifically chose two missions. They carefully, in my opinion, chose two specific missions to share with you. They got my purchase on that. G-Shift simply gave you the game from the start. And I played the game a little bit, wasn't impressed, and thus I made the decision not to buy it. Part of the thought process there was, and, and this is the whole point, is to show you the thought process. The thought process there was, well, this game is too much like, and yet it moves. Maybe the game has something to offer, but because of the way the demo was structured, they weren't showing me that. They weren't showing me that the game had anything more to offer than spinning the level and collecting the gravity bubbles. If they had showed me a later level where there was puzzle solving involved or something more to do, maybe I would have been on board. But because they showed me the simplest of simple levels, they didn't win me over and they didn't win my purchase. So, very similar concept to a game that I already have and a demo that did not take advantage of showing off the game's full potential. Those are the two reasons that I didn't buy G-Shift. I would recommend that you take a look at the G-Shift demo. It seems like a great game and if you don't own and yet it moves, it is certainly a charming variation on the and yet it moves formula. So definitely take a look at the demo nonetheless. Remember that is on Desura, Desara, whatever. I'm going to say Desura because I like that pronunciation. D-E-S-U-R-A dot com. I am on there as Big Dave is cheap. Add me if you would like. Desura, G-Shift, moving forward. So the other game that we played this week on the home channel was Torchlight, the little masterpiece from Runic Games, Torchlight. Yes, it is very much like Diablo. If you like Diablo, you will like Torchlight. 
And that's part of the problem. Diablo 3 is looming, and uh, Torchlight is a bit of a hard sell to some people. I think it's absolutely worth the money, uh, but yeah, Diablo 3, you may want to save your coin for that. I did indeed play Torchlight as a means to try to hype myself up for Diablo 3, because the beta coverage that I've been seeing, even from some of my favorite YouTubers, is not getting me excited about Diablo 3, which is a little bit scary. So, uh, I played a little Torchlight, and uh, I'm back into the hack and slash vein. I can say that I'm enjoying some of the Diablo 3 coverage a little more now, and I think as the beta expands and there's more to see, I might enjoy the coverage a little bit more. But why the hell am I talking about Diablo 3 so much? This is about Torchlight. I love Torchlight. 5 out of 5. Highest recommendation. Torchlight. Look into it for yourself. All in all, I thought the Torchlight video was presented pretty well. I did lack for time in the Torchlight video, and that, again, is one of those things. I'm trying to push the channel. I'm trying to get to a point with this channel where I can post videos longer than 15 minutes because I didn't need 25 minutes to, to do the Torchlight video. I needed, like, 18 minutes. I needed, like, 17 minutes. Sometimes when I'm trying to go through the menu system and then go through and play the game, 15 minutes is just not enough time, and uh, that is becoming more and more evident the further I go along. If a game has a lot to show you on the front end before we even get into gameplay, then I'm going to usually run right up to the edge of my 15 minute time limit. So I'm doing everything I can. I'm putting out videos trying to garner as many views as possible to get this channel the privilege of posting videos longer than 15 minutes. And once that happens, I think you'll see videos like the one for Torchlight feel a little bit better, a little less rushed, and a little more fleshed out. So looking forward to that for sure. Alright, that's going to do it for the videos from this past week. Let's take a quick look at the weekend deals that are to be had about the internet, and then we will look at the week coming up. So bear with me here as I mouse around to find my little list. Yes, indeed. Let's start out with an interesting sale over on GOG.com. This weekend they are doing a sale on some classic Dungeons & Dragons games. The problem is the sale has a gimmick. The more games you buy, the more discount you get. Uh, not a fan of that. The games that are on sale, they have some of the classic, classic Dungeons & Dragons games. Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. They have uh, Icewind Dale, which I've never played, but I've heard is a good, uh, a good game. 1 and 2. Neverwinter Nights, and, and a few others. So, those games are going to run you... If you buy one, it's going to run you about 8 bucks. Eh. However, if you decide that you want to buy two, now all of a sudden, knock another 50% off. Or 50... 50 cents off. Uh, if you want to buy three, knock another 50 cents off, and so forth and so on until you can get 60% off and get it down to getting all nine of the games which are offered for a mere $34. <laughs> which is great because that's $50 worth of games and that's $4 per game. It's a gimmicky sale. I'm not a fan of gimmicky sales. Uh, but there are some amazing games there, and if you've never played that grouping of games, Baldur's Gate 2, highly recommended. Neverwinter Nights, highly recommended. You know, they are those sort of isometric uh, Diablo-style view games, but they are not Diablo-style games. They are so much more involved, they are so much more uh, RPG-like than Diablo, uh, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, D Diablo 3, Torchlight, any of those games. Baldur's Gate 2. Amazing game. Wasted so much of my life in that game. So that's the sale over on GOG. A bit of a gimmick, but eh, whatever. Over on Gamers Gate, we have Nordic Games putting their catalog on sale. Uh, Nordic Games, I know them for the Spellforce games. You may know them for the Gothic series. Never played the uh, Gothic game, but I've heard that they are good. Lots of good games on, on there for sale, and a lot of good stuff for under $5. Lots of games in the 250 range. Some promising looking stuff. I would check that out. Gamersgate.com. Look for the banner for the Nordic sale. It is 75% uh, off, and uh, lots, lots of stuff. Lots of good looking quality games. I'm probably going to walk out with at least a couple of those this weekend. And finally, it's the big one on Steam. Oh yeah, it is the Sega sale on Steam. This weekend, Sega titles discounted 50 to 90%. Alpha Protocol, 90% off. You can get that game for $2. It is a espionage RPG. It looks very interesting, and yes, it is already in my cart. And in fact, no, it, it is out of my cart because it has been purchased. Also, the big one for me, the Sega Genesis Classics Collection. I bought it. You'll know that if you follow me on Twitter. 40 Sega games. Oh my god. I, mm, I have such a retro boner right now. 
Sega Genesis is the system of my youth. It is the system that I grew up playing. I have a love affair with that system and those games. So yeah, Sega Genesis Classics Collection. Just go ahead and get ready. I'll warn you right now. There's going to be some kind of new show here on Big Davis Cheap where I play through these Sega Genesis games. So just get, get ready for it. If you don't like it, I don't care because I love some Sega Genesis games. And uh, you're just all going to have to suffer through it or just don't watch them. Whatever, you know. If I was doing this for views, I would have shut this channel down a long time ago. I'm doing this because I play the games that I like, and I do the things that I like. And some of you like that, and that's fun for me. Also over there, Company of Heroes is on sale, 80% off. Nice. It's Company of Heroes and the two expansions. Good stuff. Company of Heroes, of course, from Relic. Relic, the makers of my new favorite game of the month, uh, Space Marine. So, yeah. A lot of good stuff going on on the weekend, uh, over the weekend, this weekend. Take a look at those. Moving on to the week that is yet to come... Hmm, have any plans? Well, the only plan I have in place for certain is that I'm going to do a game that I have been putting off for a while. Not, not really putting off. Putting off would mean I've, I've dreaded doing it or, you know, what have you. Uh, I, and I haven't. I'm going to do Trine. Trine from Frozen Bite. Trine 2 is coming out uh, fairly soon. I don't know that they have an exact date on it yet, but Trine 2 has uh, been highly anticipated. We're going to take, uh, take a look at Trine in our normal first impression style. And uh, yeah, Trine, I'm very excited. It is, if you don't know, it sort of borrows a little bit from the old Lost Vikings concept. You have three characters that have three unique skill sets, and you have to utilize all three of their skill sets in order to make it through the level. It is a 2D uh, action puzzle platformer, for lack of a better, you know, categorization. It is a very cool looking game, very good looking game um, for what it is. It has great graphics. Uh, you will see that at some point this week. Other than that, you can suggest games on Steam. You will know my Steam ID from the outro, which rolls on every video now. It is Big Dave is Cheap. Friend me on Steam, and then you can look at my games, look at my selection of games, suggest any game on my list. Every game on my list should qualify for Big Dave is Cheap with the exception of a couple, and the couple that don't qualify should be obvious to you. A.K.A. Space Marine. You know, that's pretty obvious. Hmm. Anything else? Any more reason to waste your time? I don't think so. I think that is going to do it for us, guys. All right, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for listening to all of this gibberish. Thanks for watching the videos, and uh, thanks for subscribing to the channel. All that jazz. We are continuing to move. Subscriber count is growing, growing, growing. Everything is looking great on the channel. I'm just trudging along here. I'm doing this because I love it. I'm not doing it for views. I'm not doing it for subs, but those things, of course, are a nice side effect. Alrighty, let's see. I keep thinking that, I keep in my head, my head keeps telling me there's something I've forgotten. But then I think about it, and there's nothing that I've forgotten. Alright, so in that case, screw it. If I've forgotten something, it wasn't that important, now was it? Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.